Hey, what is up, awesome people? Shady Wags with Got Your Back Gaming. And when I first started playing Dead by Daylight, I was having a lot of fun, but I was bad. Really, really bad. And if you want to hear grown man scream like a little girl, then check out the video of my first game. It's pretty funny looking back on it. But after many games of constantly getting caught, not escaping, and not scoring many points, I got downright salty about the whole thing. I just could not understand why I was always the first person being caught. It just seemed like I could never get away from the killer in a chase, and I wasn't escaping. I thought I was never going to get past Survivor Rank 20. Now since then I've gotten better, I would say I'm a pretty decent player. At least most games I'm not the first to die anymore. I want to share with you some of the tips that I found along the way and some things I've learned from watching other players that I wish I would have known in the beginning and I'm sure that these are going to help you become a better survivor. Now the absolute number one tip I can give you is play with a decent set of headphones. This game is heavily reliant on reacting to sound cues both as a survivor and the killer. I've tried playing this with a cheap set, I played through the TV speakers, and I played it with a good set. And there was a noticeable improvement in my game when I used the good set because I was able to catch those small cues that I wasn't hearing through the speakers or with the cheap headphones. For example, if I was the last person left, and when that escape hatch opened, and I was looking for it, if I was playing through the TV speakers, I could not hear that escape hatch. But through those headphones, I was able to catch that from a pretty good distance away. I've been able to escape quite a few times just by being able to hear that escape hatch. Number two is get good at hitting those skill checks. Those skill checks are pivotal in almost everything you do in Dead by Daylight. And really the only way to get good at them is just to keep doing them. You want to listen for the audio cue and get down your timing. But what helped me is by remapping the skill check key. And I want to thank Tommy Bruce for this little tip. By default on the Xbox One, the key is mapped to the left bumper, which I found kind of awkward. I changed this to the A button, and after I did that, I saw a huge improvement in the amount of skill checks I was hitting. So thanks for that tip, Tom. Number three, quit running. Do not run everywhere you go. I see players doing this all the time. Understand that every time you run, you're leaving marks on the ground that the killer can see. And any decent killer can follow these tracks like a breadcrumb trail right to you or at least to your area. Running is also noisier than walking. The sound alone can alert a killer. It also disturbs crows. And some of those killers will have on perks that they're alerted to your location by the crows. So don't run unless you have to. Number four, learn how to get away from the killer. First off, you have to realize the killer is faster than you. In a straight run, they're always going to catch up to you. Also, there's this thing called bloodlust, and the longer a killer chases you, the faster and faster they're going to get. And that's why in those long chases, they almost always end up catching the person. Now, the only way to stop the effects of bloodlust is to get out of the chase. Once the chase is over, then their speed will immediately drop back to normal again. So it seems pretty unfair. They're faster than you. They have attacks. You have nothing to attack with back. So the way you get away from them is by taking advantage of their poor field of vision and their slow movement speed around, over, and through objects, juking them out so they lose your trail. One way you can do this is if you're in a straight run, the way you can juke them out is right when you see the killer stain is on you. The killer stain is that glowing red circle on the ground. Once you see that's on you, you take a step to the left or the right, then immediately take a sharp turn back the other way towards the killer and go around them. This is the way it looks like in a gameplay situation. I see the red stain on me, so I take a step to the left. The killer is forced to react and begins to turn left as well. I then quickly whip to the right and speed off behind them. When I'm far enough away or I'm positive that they have lost line of sight, then I quit running. But really when I found myself getting away a lot more is when I realized that I was reacting to the killer instead of making them react to me. I was just constantly running towards a vault point or knocking down a pallet and then continuing to run straight through. What I do now is I spin my camera around to see what they're going to do or I turn around and wait to see what their move will be. And then I adjust what my move is going to be according to how they reacted to me. So in this case, I knock down the pallet, then I just wait on the other side. He can't hit me from here, so I just wait to see what he does. If he starts to break the pallet, then I take off and I attempt to make distance and break line of sight. 
If they go around, I go the opposite way, or I go back over the pallet and then backtrack the way I came from. Or I just continue letting them chase me. Sometimes this will go on for so long that they finally will just completely give up and go away. Number five, don't give up. I really hate to see this, but some players, once they get caught, they just totally give up. Don't do that. You never know what's going to happen. If the killer grabs you, wiggle every time. Don't assume that they're going to get you to a hook. There may not be a hook nearby. They may mess up and take the wrong path. Or you never know. The killer's wife may bust into the room and yell at them to take out the trash. Yes, I'm going to get it. I know you told me two hours ago. I'm in the middle of something. I'll get it. Okay. If they do get you a hook, don't immediately attempt to escape. Yes, there are times when it's appropriate to attempt to escape from the hook. Like when you're hooked in the basement and there are only two of you left and the other person's way on the other side of the map. But I hate to see when people that get up on the hook for the first time and then they immediately attempt to escape twice. People, you only have a 4% chance to escape. 4%. That's not good. Just because you don't see someone running to you two seconds after you're put up on the hook does not mean that someone's not going to try to get you. And let's be honest, sometimes no one's going to come for you. It's just kind of a matter of being a team player. If the killer is camping you and you're not going to escape, just try to prolong the sacrifice and give those other people more time to get the generators up. Like I said, it's just a matter of being a courteous player. I tried, but he was on me as soon as I went. Four generators and I saved three of your asses off the hook. And you left me. I'm a coward. I'll admit it. Four generators and saved three people! You should still get a pip for that, then. Because I... I... Got Tom, don't try to talk your way out. <laughs> chickened out. I would have came for you. And if you get knocked down and they leave you and they go start chasing somebody else or they go to do something else, start crawling away. Don't lay there in the place that they knocked you down. Don't ever give up in this game. You just don't know the impossible could happen. So I hope you guys found these tips useful. If you did, I really would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, talk to you later. Oh, he's here. He's just camping the barn. Oh shit, he's on me. Somebody please open the gate. I'm opening one. Oh, it's where he's at though, shit. He's chasing someone. Me. He's gonna get me. I'm opening that gate. I'm running back. It's at half. Hurry. It's not gonna be. It's too soon. Thank you, Spread Burst! <laughs> Shit! Damn. I hope there's no hooks around here. Because everybody left. Nope, there was a hook right here. Oh, no. And he's just going to stand here and hit me. Run for the gate! Run, Shady! Crawl, Shit. Crawl. What? Is yeah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was great. 
what a what a teammate that dude was. <laughs> yeah.